All right, we're going to be taking a look at uh, Gerber files today, and uh, we're just going to use some sample board here, and we'll take a look at the Gerber files um, that's required to build it, to build this board. So um, I'll cover how you generate files some other time, but let's take a look at what the files are and what the files do. All right, here is a folder that has all of the Gerber files that were generated by the CAD program. In the old days, these were actually photographic uh, plastic, like almost negatives. They were plastic photographs of each layer. Um, and so you have one layer that tells you what, uh, what here is, uh, all of these files, first of all, end in .gbr. That's not always true. Every single program does Gerber files differently. So this is how KiCad is doing them. But it's going to take the name of your board and it's going to append onto it dash FCU, which is the front copper. Why they don't call it co top copper, I don't know, but it's the front copper, so it's that top layer. The BCU is the bottom copper. Remember, we have copper, copper, and something in between. Um, so those two layers are handled. So, so these two um, files, the bottom one, is basically a, a digital representation of what you want the, the bottom copper to look like. And the F copper is what you want the top copper to look like. And then you wanna put solder masks on it. So you have a front solder mask and you have a bottom solder mask, all right? You may be doing surface mount, there may be some solder paste things. We're not gonna talk about those in this video, but th those are the paste things. Then remember we had copper, then we had um, solder mask, and then we had silk screen. So there's a top silk screen and there's a bottom silk screen. So each file tells the machines how to construct each layer, right? So separate layer, separate file. All right, so the final uh, file here is called edge cuts. Sometimes you'll hear it called dimensions. Sometimes you'll hear it called board outline. Um, but it's going to tell the machine how to cut out the board. So the, the perimeter of the board, if there's any cutouts in the middle of the board, if the hole gets a certain size, you can't drill it any longer. They don't have big drills. But the router can go in and it can route big holes. So anything that the router has to do... Um, is handled with this file. So it's all of the board outline, it's all of the cutouts, it's all of any little notches or something, any 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 outline of the board. That's what's that's what's this done. That's the final operation when they make boards is to, to route them out. And then remember when we were building the board, we first did one layer, then etched the other layer, and then we drilled holes. In fact, we drilled the holes before we even etched the thing. So drilling the hole was the very, very first operation. And that's handled with a separate file, uh, a, a DRL file. Now, um, KiCad handles them separately. Other programs just throw them in for the ride. Uh, I don't know why KiCad separated them out. But anyway, they, uh, there is drill drawings. So these, 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 and I don't know why there's two of them, but there's drill drawings uh, that tell you where to put all the holes. So the operation would be then use the um, two drill drawings, drill all the holes, and then use the uh, front copper, etch the top. Then use the back copper, etch the back, and then put on the front front mask, put on the back mask, put on the front silk screen, put on the back silk screen, and then route it all out. And that's what Gerber files do. They describe each layer. The idea of layers is very, very important. And when you, when you get the idea that this is what the machines want, and this is how the boards were built, it makes you understand the CAD programs better. Why are there different layers in the CAD programs and what do these various layers do? All right, if we have uh, Gerber files, we can see if they actually do something or not, if you can find a Gerber viewer. Sometimes the manufacturing house has a Gerber file, Gerber file viewer available to you. Um, uh, KiCad has one built in, so we'll use theirs. It's not a great one, it's actually pretty bad, but <laughs> uh, we will use it. So. Uh, we are going to launch the Gerber viewer for um, uh, for KiCad, and we're going to say file open. It says, where where are all of these uh, files you're talking about? 
we'll go to a, a file that had all of these files. We'll highlight them all and say open. And it's brought all those files into this Gerber viewer and says, yeah, there you go. That's what it looks like. Um, so it includes a whole bunch of things that aren't there. I don't know why it puts check marks on them, but we're going to uncheck mark all of these things. So it's not going to view any of them. So we can look at each file one by one. So let's look at the top copper or what they call the front copper here. Um, so we'll put a little checkbox here and there we go. This is the information that's given to build how to etch that top layer. Okay. We can uncheck that one. The bottom layer is this one's B copper. And that's what the bottom layer would look like. This is where we want the copper. Uh, we can take a look at these uh, solder masks. Uh, here's the front solder mask. Uh, the rear solder mask is back, back mask. And they should look almost the same. We can turn on the front and the back at the same time. And we really see no change. Okay. All right. So. Uh, the other thing would be the um, silk screens. So we have a top silk screen, which is this one. So it's just all of the printing on the top of the thing. And then even though it created a file called back silk screen, um, it actually contains nothing. You can click it and you can see it contains nothing. And then we can turn all these things on together. And we can highlight this one. And there we go. That is our um, set of Gerber files. Yes, it looks like what it is that we want to build. Um, and uh, yeah, there you go.